Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah. I don't draw the ball. Nah. Now I never fumble. Oof. I'm the MVP. Yeah. Now I feel like Russell. Yeah. Feel like John Moran. Hey. Need a triple double. Yeah. Told him to the stats. Hey. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't draw the ball. Yeah. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Yeah. Now I feel like Russell. Hey. Yeah, I need it now. Told him on the lay. Hey. I've been moving dog. Yeah. Hey, gone guys. Mark here from DNA Paints. Welcome back to another video. On this one, I'll be giving you a guide and a run through on how I painted my Ford Ranger in our brand new color shift, Dragonfire. All right, so it all starts off with choosing your ground coat and your color shift. Now, if you want the most intense color and vibrancy out of your color shift, choosing a black base for your pearl is important. Now, that's not to say that you can't get a really intense color shift changing the ground coat but choosing the right ground coat for the color pearl is important. What we've found is that if you use a white base as an example and apply a black pearl over the top, it can look dirty and be tricky to get even. So I wanted the most easiest way of getting a color shift on my car, so I chose the pure black base to suit the Dragonfire color shift. I applied two coats of the pure black over the whole car and the ratio for the black was 60-40, and I chose to use a slow base coat reducer. We'll mask up uh, the tin, which will make us not spill all the paint everywhere. So once I let the car flash off for 20 minutes between each coat at 25 degrees, it was time to mix up our color shift. Our color shift is also mixed at a ratio of 60-40 and I also used a slow base coat reducer. It's very important when choosing the speed of reducer that you choose the right speed to suit the climate or temperature that you're painting in. So for me, it was about 26 degrees in the booth and I chose a slow reducer. Now what that slow base coat reducer will actually do for you to help you paint a color shift or special effects colors is it stays wet in the air as it leaves the gun and when it hits the panel. So when the paint hits the panel, all the particles are laying flat. If you're starting to see a little bit of unevenness or a bit of model on your panel, it's because the speed of reducer or the temperature that you're painting in is too fast or too hot.
So what you're seeing when it's uneven is paint particles standing up and some are laying flat and that's what gives you that mottle effect. So by slowing down the flush off time of your base coat will actually get your base coat a lot even and make the whole painting process a lot smoother and easier. I've applied two coats, painting individual, blending out at either end on my third coat. I thought I'd mix it up and make it a little bit more exciting and walk from headlight to tail light. Once I apply three coats over the whole car, it was time to do a drop coat. Now what this is actually doing is making all the paint particles all stand up on end, which will give you more of a sparkle and a really sharper color shift once it's cleared.
once I'd done my first drop coat, I turned the booth lights off and got a sun torch, went around the whole car and looked for any mottle or unevenness that may be there. And due to me using a slow base coat reducer, I didn't have any model down the sides. I had a little bit on the bonnet, but two drop coats fixed that issue. All right, so once all the base coat had flashed off at 26 degrees for 20 minutes, it was then time to mix up our custom clear. Now, by all means, uh, you don't need to use a custom clear. You can use the diamond. But for me, I wanted the custom clear, and I used the slow FX hardener. coats over the whole car using the custom clear with 10 minutes between the first and second and between the second and third I waited 25 minutes. After the third coat I waited half an hour before baking.
And that's it guys, that's a quick little rundown on how I painted the Color Shift Dragonfire over my Ford Ranger. It was actually quite easy. I really enjoyed the paint process. I hope that you guys also get yourselves some Color Shift and paint your project. <laughs>